I love giving out free stuff. And I love teaching people how to do things like making the best Notion OKR system ever made in Notion. And all this is thanks to me making a series on how to build a Notion app system from scratch that a lot of you guys have been very much enjoying recently. If you wanna skip all the hassle and skip the playlist, make sure that you get the Notion app system right now. You can get it on riseproductive.com and you can also get the course Mastering Notion that is connected to that application. It'll teach you, it's over four hours of content on how to master Notion. If you don't wanna buy it though, what you can do is check out my Skillshare link and essentially that will just give you a free one month trial. You can watch it through there, no hassle. Regardless, let's jump into it. So we've worked really well through a lot of the core databases and we will finish off a couple of the last ones soon, but let's make a new database for something like OKRs. For those of you that are unaware, OKR stands for Objectives and Key Results, and they are a really great goal making system. So first and foremost, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, actually let's just use this new database. Uh, example, I'm gonna set this as like sorting number one, call this OKRs, I'm gonna make this a little target. I think it's a nice little cute symbol for it. Okay, so we got a new database here. Um, what I'm gonna do at the top here is make a couple different things. So slash call two, do a toggle block, call this master databases. I have a little divider over under all of this. I'll just nestle this guy, do this. Okay, I'll make two different pages here, you'll see in a sec. And then we're gonna make a page here called, um, essentially it's like a tutorial on how to make this happen, so create a new objective in its key result. I like doing this little stack emoji um, layers. All right, so then here, we have two databases, which are objectives and key results. All right, so page, go objectives, do a little target icon again, do a table database, new database. And once again, let's do another page database and we're gonna call it uh, key results. Checkbox emoji, check mark, do this this entire series. Table, new database, pick the check mark again. All right, so let's build these databases, right? So we got objectives right here, key results. We can even uh, make this nestled in like this. All right, so now we got the views, we got the vibe down. Let's delete this new database. Okay, so I'm excited for this. So objectives. The objective database is going to be pretty simple. Like all of these databases are gonna be pretty simple, but they're gonna just connect very well. So first property we're gonna make is a date property. So it's literally just gonna assign an objective and a date to it. And then a checkbox property, that is going to be literally whether it was planned or not. Just gonna mark it and as a flag for like, this is planned. And then we're gonna just take some formulas and uh, make it so that it can uh, figure some things out. So quarter, this is one. It's gonna be just some date properties. So what I really want you to do is just follow me here. All right, it's, it's kind of kind of a long formula, okay? Um, I may end up just pasting these into the the description just to make it easy because seriously like this is just uh, kind of a lot, a lot to look at but I will type this out for you if empty property date two parentheses space or comma space if it's empty then quarter you can see I'm referencing the formula plus format date or format <laughs> format date property date Q plus this huh? A little space in between plus format date or format and then format date property date year 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 and then four parentheses okay what that basically does is it marks it as the quarter and of the year we're talking about so you know like this will get to q2 if i go here yep so it just marks the quarter that it's in and then we're gonna do a uh a this year uh formula so we're gonna do formula this year I like a question mark at the end all right so now this one's pretty easy. It's if, this one's actually pretty easy. We do a parenthesis at the start and then format date property, the date property, then we format it to this year. If it equals format date now's year, then this year, and if not, different year. See what I'm doing here? So since there's no date, it's different year. Um, and then it's this year once I click on this, but if I go to December 28th last year, it'd be different year, okay. Now, that's the first part of it. The second thing is we're going to have to connect this to the key results. So this is the baseline stuff that we can do for objectives. Now let's go into key results. Okay, so let's go key results. We're going to do a relation to, we can go to this uh, OKRs page, objectives. And then we'll do NAS just so that it has a flag to realize what it is. Objectives, NAS. Cool. Add relations. We're going to do key results and objectives. Add relation, make sure it goes both ways. All right. Now let's get rid of this. We're gonna put a person property. So it just assigns like an owner, so owners of the key result. We're gonna do a date property. And then we're gonna do a roll up of the uh, 
quarter that we want to get this done in. So let's do roll up, select objectives, good old quarter. Let's do a select property for status. So the status is going to be either completed, on track, or behind. And then we're going to actually start making some of the numbers in here. So numbers would be the current result, and then another number property would be the target result. That's where we kind of get the objectives and key results thing in there. We're also going to have a roll up property for quarter, or sorry, we're going to have a roll up property for something I forgot, which was in the um, objectives, you're going to duplicate this, change it to this quarter. You're going to replace the Y with Q and you're going to replace the words with quarter. It just figures out whether it's this quarter or not. So it's a different quarter, but if I selected today, it's this quarter selected there, it's different quarter. Yeah. So I also forgot to add created time and then a checkbox that we can do is archive. So some other baseline properties here. And now I go through things quick. It's gonna be worth it. So going back to the key results, we're also gonna do a roll up for, so we're gonna pick this for this quarter. Snag this this quarter, question mark. All right, so this is what we wanna line up. Then we're gonna do a roll up for objective archive. So we make sure that the objective itself is an archived. Cool. And we do like to make this a number. So we can do a uh, checked. So we can set it to like one or not when we're filtering. And then last but not least, we're gonna make a progress bar of the formula. So pretty obvious one here, but uh, basically we're gonna take the current and target result and divide that stuff. So round property current result divided by property target result times 100 divided by 100. Now we do wanna make sure that there's a bracket here, a bracket so that it kinda of separates this. What this does is it essentially rounds it. So if I had it set to 50 and this number, it would give like a really weird decimal. So if I edit this, we're gonna change this to a percent. Do a little progress bar, right? Let me do blue. So now it's just gonna round it down to like one decimal instead of it being a ridiculous one, which would be like in this situation, I'm pretty sure if I got rid of the round, so it's just something ridiculously large. Yeah, how about no? And then we're also gonna take a couple other ones. So let's do checkbox planned, checkbox for an archive, created time, which is always a nice thing to have. We can also roll up the this year property from the other one. Let's do it this year. And then from there, we should be good for all the different properties. That's the baseline setup. So now we can get into the actual fun part, which is like setting up dashboards that kind of make sense. So we have this, we have this, and I'm gonna make a little tutorial essentially in here that shows you how it works. So copy this, make a little page full width. And it's like a nice onboarding setup for those people who don't know how it works. So I'm gonna do a mention, maybe like an H2 or something, divide it. And I was inspired with this template by Somebody who created it a couple years ago is really cool. I take these instructions. So this page is basically where you create it. And then once you like click off plan in this planning section, it then will like show up on the main page. So let's do some fun stuff here. All right, so I'm gonna rename this. Okay, so let's do copy link. All right, divide that. And let's paste out a objectives section. Cool. So now we have the objectives and the ones that we wanna really show here, property wise, are just gonna be like, date, key result, and planned. All right, and then we can snag the key results right here. Do the exact same thing. So let's hide what doesn't really, isn't applicable all the time. Let's do an objective one, a date, target result, who owns it, whether it's planned. All right, now from a filtering standpoint, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure that this is filtered to archive is unchecked and planned is unchecked. Because essentially once these are planned, they're gonna move into the next page. And the same thing goes for this. We're gonna do it so that archive is unchecked and planned is unchecked. All right, so an example of this setup would be if the objective is grow YouTube channel, what does that mean? The the key results are, so let's, let's do some examples here. Uh, reach 500K monthly views, uh, make 30 videos a month, gain, 10,000 subscribers. Okay. So the date on this is going to be, let's say end of 2023. But if I wanted to add something specific, like uh, reach 200,000 monthly views, I can associate this one to the end of the year. So like December 31st, 2023. But maybe for this one, it's like, uh, let's say so May 30th. 2023. See the timeline's different. Gain 10,000 subscribers is also December 31st, 2023. Make 30 videos a month is like by the end of this month. Actually, I want to make 38 because I have two channels. Um, so the target result itself is 38. Target result itself is 500k, and this would be 200k. So 200, 1, 2, 3, and this ownership's on me. The ownership here is 10,000 for me. 
Let's actually pretend like my editor is also involved in this so we can see some functionality later. All right, so the key result though, or sorry, the objective we're connecting to is grow YouTube channel. Drag this guy down, a little video action here. Okay, now what we can do is we can set this up so that boom, planned, yep, planned, 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 planned. Now it would go into the main interface, which we're just gonna copy these views really quick and go here. So paste these guys out. And all we're gonna do here is make some nice views based off of what I did with the whole ridiculous amount of uh, date properties. So we can go here, make a little uh, objective section, maybe hide this database, title, and do key results. It's up to you how you want the aesthetic, but this is how I like it. All right, cool. Now, some examples would be filter. Now it is, it is checked, the planned. However, the archive is unchecked. All right, we have the key results here. We have the date. What we can also have is the status that we could roll up from the key results. So that's up to you whether you want to do that. Um, another opportunity from earlier is that you could roll up status from key results, which I am sorry for forgetting. Yeah, show it like this. All right, show the status here, but you can definitely show the progress bar, which could essentially take the aggregate of the objectives and key results. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a roll up property for Target result, roll up for current result. I'm gonna snag those names, targeting current, current. Okay, and we can make a formula. It's a little progress bar. It's the exact same formula as uh, the other one. And what you can do here is you can actually pick this and set this so it's uh, a sum, so that it's actually a number. Paste this in here and it would work just like the other one. We go to percent bar, which is blue. Then you have a progress bar associated to it. So progress bar. Now what I did here was a little dumb and I had to grow YouTube channel with multiple ones in here. So let's say we just have like grow YouTube channel gain 10,000 subs. Let's unlink these. Then we can have the current target results showcasing right here for multiple of them. Now we can add a couple of them. It's just like the, the numbers are so different. So I'm just going to show one at a time. And then we can change this filter to be status is checked. Archive is unchecked. Let's unplan some of these, right? And we can do multiple different views here. We can take this, we can group this by, for example, the owners, and we can filter it in different ways, like uh, key results this quarter. So it'd be filtered to, and quarter contains this quarter. And the actual key result itself needs to get changed to, for example, here. And then, so if I made it like March, or sorry, if I made this one like, March, so then this would be filtered to this quarter contains this quarter. So you can just kind of like use all those different quarter filters to set it up. But that's the baseline of what it is. If I change the results here, we got targeting key result. So we can uncheck some things. You have the target result and the current result. I'd be at like 600% or let's say I've gained like 5,800 subscribers. We got the objective and then the key results associated to it. And then if we add multiple different ones, you can see the whole progress of the objective is smaller. But for example, with the uh, make 500 monthly views, that's uh, later on in the year. So what if we wanted to make it this year? Filter it to this year. So this year is this year. Let's do this year. And we'd have to go back here. As you can see, they weren't planned. So we have to go back here, just plan these again. And now you can actually put the progress bar for the specific ones themselves. So we'd have more of a vibe of where everything's at. So the different small objectives that make up, now the different key results that make up the objective. So it's all kind of like a bunch of numbers cascading together and is a very nice way of doing uh, a bunch of different ones. You can sort it by person, you could sort it by quarter, year, month, whatever you're wanting. It is one of the more long form setups that I've had on the channel. So I do appreciate you sticking around. And I do appreciate you sticking around in general by watching uh, this video on how to improve your productivity even more.